Three tips for requesting recommendation letters at the last minute. My name is Dr. Vicki Johnson. I'm the founder of Profello and the creator of the fully funded course and mentorship program for graduate school applicants. All right, so we're getting really close to the deadlines for our graduate school and fellowship applications. And sometimes you have to make a last minute request, either because you started a bit late or maybe someone that you hoped would write your letter had fought, fell through and now you need to find an alternative. So if you need to make a last minute request, and, and by last minute, I mean less than 30 days away, here's a couple of ways to make sure that process uh, is as effective as possible. So tip number one for getting a last minute recommendation letter is to ask somebody that you're close to. Now you may already have had all of your close contacts on the list, but if you're trying to choose now between a couple alternatives, make sure it's someone who knows you relatively well. So this could be a former boss, a former professor, a colleague that worked on a project with you. Uh, try to think of somebody that you feel comfortable reaching out to for this last minute request. Uh, because they know you personally, they'll probably be more likely to say yes and be willing to be helpful in this process. Tip number two uh, for requesting a last minute recommendation letter is to explain the circumstances. Make sure that you tell them why it's last minute and be honest. If it's because you just found out about the opportunity or because you got behind because of a personal or professional uh, situation, just make sure that you explain it as uh, authentically as possible. Because I think people understand the, the pressure of the graduate school and fellowship uh, application process. And so if you explain the circumstances, it makes it a little easier for them to say, yes, I will clear my calendar and help you out. My third tip for getting a last minute recommendation letter is to make it as easy as possible for your referee. Oftentimes candidates will just send the referee the, the recommendation letter prompt, the question, and just leave it up to them to be on top of it. There's a lot of ways that you can help prepare your referee by creating a folder of items. So number one, in that folder, have your CV ready to go. Number two, have a document that briefly explains the fellowship or the graduate school or programs that you're applying for. Just little quick paragraphs that explain what it is and, uh, and what, it, what you hope to achieve through the program. Number three, have a business letter template. And what I mean by that is just a document that has already the address to the university or program that you're applying to so that they don't have to go rooting around for that. And fourth, most importantly, have some bullet points that they can include in your letter. If your letter needs to discuss your leadership qualities, make sure that you have a couple of bullet points that your referee can draw from easily. If they, if they need to discuss your research experience, put a bit of detail into some bullet points about the research that you've done. Don't assume that even someone that knows you well can just quickly come up or remember these things about you. Make it easy for them by putting it into bullet points so that they can quickly draft a letter on your behalf. All right, that's three tips for getting a last minute recommendation letter. If you need more support as a last minute graduate school applicant, check out the fully funded course and mentorship program, which is my award-winning online course and group coaching program for people applying to fully funded PhD and master's programs.